podcast two. We did it. We're here. Um, I'm really excited about this podcast. We didn't do one for every episode. No, we won't. Yeah, because uh, it's just a lot of work and a lot of time and effort and... It's just like a lot of content, actually. <laughs> like, I mean, like it's it's time for me, but work for you. Yeah, exactly. Luckily, it's work that I love. And holy smoke, Squanchy is racing. <laughs> yeah, Squanchy's got the zoomies. He's got the zoomies. That's awesome. <laughs> I love this show. This this has got to be the Patreon content, I think. If Maybe. we if we ever get that big. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, it's free. <laughs> but that'd be really exciting, because then it'd be behind a paywall. That's a that's a, that's kind of a weird thing to just, like, hit people over the head with it with, like, six subscribers. Six subscribers. <laughs> we have seven, actually. We oh, broke okay. seven. We, seven. We, over the last week, we gained a subscriber. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm stoked. What about the people who aren't subscribing? If you're watching this on my main channel, we have another channel called IDK, I Don't Know Art. And uh, in it we create art. I paint, and Mr. Normal, as he goes by on the show, draws with pencils and paper. Yes. And it's, uh, one day he might be using color, maybe never, who knows. I think I might, I think I might switch to big pens at one point. Oh, that might pick up on camera really well. Yeah. Or maybe you could, like, do that halfway through and, like, bring an outlining pen, you know? And don't necessarily focus so much on erasing. That might work. That's an idea. I had a great idea for, like, our a milestone. Like, our 100 subscribers special or a thousand or a million or something. <laughs> <laughs> Where we just switch mediums one episode. As the subscribers, the, you're <laughs> painting and I'm drawing. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we're like both totally out of our element. I think it'd be excellent. I it, because I, I, I'm not. I'm pretty sure we're both gonna be terrible and each other's. I'm, I'm pretty sure you'd you'd be like like big like stylish flourishes even if the even if the ultimate result is dog shit. But then I would just be like a living question mark the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny, just like three little paint strokes. It's abstract, motherfucker. <laughs> like, that, you spent 12 minutes? It's abstract, okay? <laughs> Get off my deck. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many possibilities. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. But man, we really need to get those numbers rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that for our million subscriber special. One million subscriber, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so, like, yeah, a thousand is ridiculous. Like, I don't think we ever get to a thousand subscribers, just because I've never made yeah. a channel that made it to a thousand subscribers. Huh. Is it me? Maybe oh. don't follow that through. <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. Step back. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything is okay. It's like the Kendrick Lamar song you never heard. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> it's an awesome song. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we just finished... Okay, we just finished... Uh, uh, like, what, I think our sixth episode? Our sixth installment? It was our fourth coin flip. And uh, I, I, I got tails, four tails in a row. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Like, pretty, I, I bet I, this is how I think it's going to go. It's going to be so long, me flipping tails. Like, okay, we're going to flip around the t coin. So heads, I pick the facial expression. And tails, I pick the character. And that's going to be the coin flip I'll get heads on. <laughs> He's like, yay. The one where we decided that, that it's opposite. <laughs> Quick question: How do you how do you always know which is heads and which is tails if you're always using foreign money? It's usually the picture of the queen, but like is the head, or I don't know. Do all coins have a head? I haven't come across one that doesn't. Usually, it's a picture of like Queen Elizabeth or or a king or something. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I know in New Zealand, they have a mountain climber on their tenor, on their ten dollar bill. <laughs> I'm the first guy to climb Mount Everest was from New Zealand, so they put him on money. <laughs> okay. But like all the money on the on our paper money in Canada is uh, famous prime ministers usually, except for the most recent tenors. They trying to have female representation on them. The ship. The ship. No, there's that ten where it's uh, some black lady. I don't know what the significance of her is. I don't have a ten dollar bill with me. Yeah. I just I just know that I just know that um they put like a Canadian icebreaker on one. No, I don't think that's the one. <laughs> or maybe that's I, I don't think the... that's the female representation. No, no, not at all. Well, the boats usually made female names, like in Forrest Gump. They, yeah, they do. Jenny. They do. They do call uh, ships with uh, she/her pronouns. Yeah, that's usually for anything men are passionate about: cars, guitars, okay, uh, prostitutes. Maybe don't follow that through. You always gotta cut me off right when I'm on the lead to something <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> Cut me off. <laughs> hey, Squanchy, come over here. Come be on camera. No, nah, he's not gonna do anything. He's just gonna look at us like we're dumb. He's like, I'm having fun. I'm just slapping my cap on camera. <laughs> I guess we could talk about why we're sitting on the floor. We never explained it in the show, which I really liked. <laughs> but it's like. Something I mean, to talk about. There's a couple things we didn't explain in the show. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of our strengths. Oh, look, Squanchy is coming. I think he's coming to see you, Mr. Normal. Hey, okay. That's awesome. Okay. That's a little appearance by Squanchy. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I had all my painting supplies in my brother's car to go to the farmer's market on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then I also went to a waterfall for a mukbang shoot for my YouTube channel on Saturday, and I injured my knee. So I just didn't bring my stuff in that night, and it's just been in there, and it's still in there. And... And Kyle's gone. And yeah, my brother took his car right. to, okay. to work. Obviously he's working right now, so it's just mm -hmm. like, we could probably borrow another car and go get the supplies or whatever but i thought it'd be funnier just to kind of roll with the punches and he just... doesn't work that far away no we could walk but it's so <laughs> hot out today fuck that yeah <laughs> i just wanted to roll with it i mean like you gotta carry so much stuff that too i didn't even think about that yeah <laughs> with an injured knee because i'm kind of half limping um well it's not my knee yeah i'm fine true but still, there's a lot of stuff between the two of us, I think. Yes. Uh, camera, easel. Uh, the table, even, that you draw on is there. Yes. Yeah. That, too. Yeah. I'm camera. sure we could have been able to do it. Like between the two of us. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's fine. We, we went ahead been. with it anyway. Yeah, we went ahead with it. Damage done. Next week, we'll be back to normal. Or we'll go even further and pretend like we don't have our stuff and draw on the floor. I'm gonna go with crayons if we do. <laughs> That's my medium of choice. But yeah. like, not on paper. No, on I, canvas. I'm the one who's drawing, so I should do crayons, and you should do finger paints. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm down for that. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, just a random episode, just one off. I'm down for it. It's gonna be the one where I win the coin flip, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard. <laughs> Where I got to finally pick the character I've been sitting on for five weeks. Yeah, and my expression is just gonna be um, uh, one of the ones from the expression chart where he's just like so aggressively horny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so classic. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait to see your reaction when you find yeah, it. Yeah, it's like, it's like just sitting there with like, horny grip. <laughs> <laughs> we should, uh, for a, a longer form content, we should do a portrait that's not just of the face, but do like a body, a full figure body portrait or something. That's work. 
Exactly. That's why it would have to be longer than 12 minutes. Yes. It'd have to be potentially, maybe, maybe we could do a live stream. <gasps> um, fuck. I need another webcam. I have two that could, we could do it, but one of them is like 480p and one's 720p. Mm -hmm. And I just need them both to be 720p. <laughs> just for my own sanity. Okay. <laughs> just through the content. Just right. for the sake of the content. Right. I know there's uh, one thing that I kind of want to do is uh, to continue the drawings that I've done and just um, come back to it like a, like a month later so you can see what I actually can do when I have some time. Um... I don't know how well that translates to painting because, like, for paintings, once you make certain decisions, you're kind of in lo you're kind of locked. Yeah, yeah, it would be. I really love the idea of, for me for having these twelve minute portraits and they're all done, and I'm gonna have an art show. Like we're creating this content. There's gonna be a lot of art at the end of the day. Like maybe not today. There's only six art pieces, but like mm -hmm. a year from now, there's gonna be fifty two art pieces if we manage to keep up this weekly pace, mm. chances are one of us, mainly me, might get called out of town. Mm. Oh, just a pitch of an idea. What about if you record yourself at home and you email or Dropbox me the footage if I'm out of town and I just do the same? Mm. And we just, and, and then instead of the coin flip on camera, we do it off camera. And then that's it. It would just be just the art for that, I think. Or maybe a little introduction from either one of us, but not both, probably. Um, I don't know this about YouTube. Is it possible to make scheduled posts? Yes. Yeah, we could make uh, multiple episodes in one day, potentially. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you wanted to keep up a pace of one episode a week... We could do a bunch of episodes beforehand and just, like, fill the queue. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Like, here's the thing. Like, if we had... It depends on how much time in advance. Like, if I knew I was going to be gone for a month or something, but I knew, like, two months in advance or something lengthy like that, which is the way I kind of like to work, mm -hmm. um, what I'd like to do is the just go forward as normal for the... No, next four weeks but for the following four weeks do two episodes a shoot like we do a shoot like this we'll just do two installments back to back kind of thing um, and then and then sit on one like you said mm -hmm. release the one that we do and then sit on the second and and then have the schedule released for the ones that were planned and then yeah yeah because like before now um like I said before, it's time for me and work for you, but um, on every episode up until now, we've had we've done the shoot and had the episode on YouTube within like three hours of starting. Yeah. That's just... Uh, I don't know what that is. That's like the byproduct of me, the way I like to work. Like, I know what I'm shooting before we start. So we shoot it, and then we have the footage. It's really easy to cut it together because there's not a heck of a lot to cut out. Right. And um, I think it's what... It... And there's some stuff that I wish I could cut out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what we're doing here. It's not the nature of the show. I've Yeah, <laughs> because this episode would be a Franken episode, I bet, if you had your way. <laughs> No, like, when, or when, when the cameras stopped, I asked him if we couldn't just have a black sensor bar over my drawing. <laughs> and then, at the end, when he asked to see my drawing, I would just say no. <laughs> I like the idea, but I, I don't know. Just Another idea I had that I didn't really verbalize was we could have uh, just made your camera out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like... Act like it was a technical difficulty the entire time. Yeah, exactly. And then at the end, I'm just like, phew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that would have been a good idea, but too late now. We already have the episode 
in the can. Not edited yet. I think we finished the show, and uh, Mr. Normal was sitting here ready to do the podcast because we discussed that we were going to do it. And I just started editing. I was like putting the show together, putting the have the first memory card in the computer. It's like, where the fuck is that guy? And then he wanders back in here, and I'm just sitting here waiting. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, being patient for me. I'm just like, oh shit, I forgot about this chapter. I think this is uh, really exciting. We got a comment, too, on the last uh, podcast, but not on the show. <laughs> the podcast was like, love this content, man. Keep it up. Hmm. That was very good. It was a guy that used to watch my streams, I believe. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been streaming the last couple days, too. Because I bought my favorite game, again, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the part of the Definitive Edition. Right. Yeah. I've wasted 60 bucks of money that I probably... Well, that I haven't even got it yet. I borrowed the money to buy it because it was on sale. Right. Because it would have been 80 bucks. But anyway, I'm playing through it, and I just love the game, and I'm just having a good time streaming. And, uh, yeah. I got one subscriber from one stream, so that was from one of the streams. I... You keep bringing up uh, the possibility of uh, doing some kind of gaming stream. Mm-hmm. The uh, one idea that we have is Stardew Valley. Yeah. Which, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. And the one idea I had was Hades. What's that? Uh, oh, I think you were telling me about this. Yes. Tell me again. <laughs> I think you must have been smoking <laughs> some weed at the time. I Well, you kind of do that. I'm actually kind of surprised that you're not doing it now. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking, looking around, like, oh, shoot, I don't have my weed. But I don't need it for everything. It's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, like, you do, it, you do eventually have to stop at some point. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I usually don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be smoking weed after this. It's mostly because of, uh, I cleaned out my grinder cup again. And every time I do that, I get the... They call it keef. It's just a crystal from the weed mm -hmm. that accumulates in the grinder. So, like, I grind up my weed, dump out the weed, and I smoke the weed. But then, after a while, the crystal accumulates in the cup, so I clean it out, and it's, like, super potent. And if I was smoking that now, I'd be coughing up and... Right, yeah. ...being in another world, whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's not for today, I guess. Not this... Sorry if you were expecting me to smoke weed... Are we going to explain why there's a why I'm looking at you through an easel? No. Okay. <laughs> You're going to have to watch the episode to see why. <laughs> um, I, I was in the episode and I still don't know why. <laughs> well, you'll have to watch the episode, I guess, and try and figure it out for yourself. <laughs> um... No, you can you can you can keep talking. I'm just gonna. Okay, <laughs> I thought you were gonna show me something or something. Mm. Hi, Swanchy. Come here. Swanchy loves to stay close to me, but he likes to stay about six feet away. He like I like to be in my present, but he knows that I'll just pick him up. <laughs> he doesn't want to be picked up. He's like, I just want the pets. Don't want the gets. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, 80s. Oh, cool. Is that a indie game? Is that hand drawn? Looks cool. It's probably not an indie game, but. <laughs> um, I right. want a bunch of awards. And nice. It's... Is it two it, player? Um. Mm, no, but like it's pretty. It's pretty fast paced, so that um. Like we could like we used to do that thing with uh, Grand Theft Auto where we would just like go insane until one of us dies and then we'd pass the paddle nice so we there's also do that pretty easily there's also another option where you just take the reins and i'm just there living in the moment you know okay i've done that with uh my brother my younger brother with okay. uh um solid gear gear solid solid gear Metal Gear Solid. There we go. Snake. Yeah. Solid Snake is where we got a contraband's nickname from. 
he's like you know how there's just regular snake and then there's liquid snake and then there's uh gas state snake and then there's solid snake who's the regular right, let's, let's, let's not uh delve too deeply into the lore of gassy snake <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but that's looking <laughs> hilarious. Anyway, yeah. Well, Contrabad, um, my brother who I often stream with, uh, came up with his own version of Snake where he just sells out. <laughs> just always selling products, and he's sell out Snake. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, I can't... Uh, the, I guess the, uh, the guy responsible... For uh, for Metal Gear Solid, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. His uh, like he posted on Twitter how um, people keep asking him for uh, gay representation in, in these games, but what they fit, what they don't understand is that all of my games have included a gay character. You, the player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a burn! That is amazing. No, that's not a burn. <laughs> It's funnier if it's sincere. That's funny. <laughs> I thought he was burning. <laughs> it's not a burn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's funnier if he's just like completely sincere and slightly and like slightly shining wet eyes and pathetic. <laughs> it's like, no, I want the actual gay representation. Huh. Why isn't sell or snake banging fucking slutty dudes instead of Russian sluts? Girls. Um. <laughs> I guess no one would play the game, or what? Oh God, I don't, I don't know who that one character was. He's all, he's all like, it's just like one of my Japanese animes. <laughs> I guess. uh... I guess uh, Snake was fighting an invisible dude, and then this guy, and this guy peed his pants, and then at some point he said, "This is just like one of my Japanese animes." Oh, I remember that. <laughs> That's just one of the it was guys the same, in the game. Yeah, it was the same. The, the the he's like the he's like Q in this universe from James Bond. Uh, the guy the the <laughs> he's got all the technicalities and working with robots and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Maybe. I never. I'm not sure. I'd have to be paying. I'd have to like pay attention to the series. <laughs> yeah, maybe like, play okay. it through. I never played the games, but I was there when my brother beat them. Mm -hmm. He like played them for me, kind of thing. It was awesome. It right. was great experience. They're great games. A lot of them. A lot of cutscenes, especially in the later games. Mm -hmm. Like, the cutscene oh, yeah. at the end of the game is like an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. It's freaking a movie you get rewarded with for beating the game. Yeah. With more story. I think Hideo Kojima wants to be a filmmaker more than a video game developer. But I think he has more freedom in the video game, um, in the video game medium. And he makes projects that are potentially better than movies. Arguably, I would say. Well, I mean, uh, movies are fine, but, like, Hideo Kojima would not be able to get his player to control a cyborg breakdancing ninja and, um,. Have the player slice a Metal Gear in half with a sword to uh, J Rock. J Rock from the Trailer Park Boys? Uh, no. Um, uh, Japanese rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, J Rock. No, okay. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> um,. Where are we going with this thought? <laughs> uh, there's, there are things that you can do in film, and there are things that you can do in games that you cannot do in film. And I think Hideo Kojima would flourish with certain... It definitely does flourish with certain things that he'd only accomplish with games. 
Right. You ever hear about Death Stranding? Uh, doesn't it have a dedicated pissing mechanic? Mm. Like, press X to piss. <laughs> press X? Why, well, like, the prominent button? <laughs> uh, no, I've never played the game. Like, he's getting haunted by ghosts, and for some reason they really hate the taste of his piss. I wonder why this game didn't do so well. <laughs> and, like one, like, one of the ways you can fight them is by throwing piss grenades. Hideo Kojima, man, one of the brilliant minds of our generation. I, uh, he's certainly one of the minds. Brilliant, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, there's a, another picture of uh, Mr. Uh, Zagreus Hades. Nice. I, there was, uh, I guess, like a, the design document for the trailer involved um, this dude walking out of the river Styx and one of the notes said, pushes the blood out of his hair sexily. Nice. And the word Good. sexily was in all caps and underlined. Very <laughs> because important. Because it's very important that he has to do it sexily. <laughs> does it come across in the final product? Does he do it sexily? Mm. We need to know. Did yeah, they, yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You have to look closely, but yeah, kind of. <laughs> Dang, they should have made it an extreme close-up. Mm. <laughs> and then, like, a shine That's in fine. his eyes. That's fine. No, it's not with that right letter. You can do that. I fuck Katie's guy. Oh. Well, I mean... Stop. Don't finish that thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> I mean, people are horny for that guy. Well, I could tell being <laughs> your presence. <laughs> Do we just kind of go brain dead for a sec? Dead yeah. Air. Dead air. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. I guess we could wrap it up, too. Are we close to the end? I think this has been a pretty good, informative, short podcast. If we want it to go longer than 30 minutes, we're going to have to stop and start recording anyway. Oh, right. But, yeah, we're getting so close to the end. I think we should just wrap it up. Last time, we tried to go... I tried to go right to the 30-minute mark, so it would cut off on us. Right. Yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Go subscribe to IDK Art. Um, this might be posted on that channel eventually, but for now, it's on my main channel. Um, oh, yeah, are we going to post... Tomorrow or today? The three hours from filming, or? I don't know. I'll do it for you. Oh, it's so hard to say, because if we say we do it tomorrow, I don't have to edit this until tonight. Hmm. But if we record, release it today, I have to go edit you can it right You can also just, like, not say, and then do whatever you want. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, squanchy! He loves the pets. Yeah, he's more warmed up to Mr. Normal because, yeah, you know, I'd pick him up. I like your shirt, by the way. The Triforce, is that from a specific Zelda game? Mm. Skyward Sword? Or? I'm not sure if it's specific, but yeah. Nice. Yeah, I never really got to wear cool shirts or anything because I'm traditionally so big. But I'm getting down to the triple XL size instead of like the five XL shirt size, so I'll be able to buy some merch. No, I just mm. need some money. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the biggest, bigger thing for me at the moment. Yeah, I wanted to try to make it to the farmers market again on Saturday. I was trying to sell a portrait on Facebook, but then somebody, a friend who works at the book bus, came up to. Uh, message me and she's like you should come to pioneer days i can get my company to give you some gas money too and everything i was like she that's probably gonna be better than the farmer's market too hmm. <laughs> and i got my gas paid for life is pretty good so i guess i'll be at pioneer days on saturday hmm. in hazelton painting portraits and then on sunday i'll be at art in the park in uh kitwanga the centennial park 
Painting porch? I thought we'd be busy this weekend. Has your room remote days yet?